How do you all? I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. It's, 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 I know it's been a long time. I know, I know, I've not been really feeling too bright. And, uh, yeah, um, that's why I've not been recording. Well, yeah, I've not been recording, uh, but I have been busy. I've not, I've not just left the world uh, to its own devices. I have been doing stuff. So we'll have a quick tour uh, of what I've been up to. Uh, it's not going to be a fantastically long video today, uh, just because, um, yeah, you know, head's still in the right place, but i um, not been feeling too great. So, yeah, so we'll have a look around and I'll show you what I've been up to. Um, and, uh, yeah, I hope you, uh, hope you like it. Um, obviously, we will be getting back to, to normal um, from next week. Uh, I need to I need to just sort of get on with it. I need to stop sort of uh, need to stop sort of hiding and, and messing around and just being you know I need to I need to sort of like grab life and, and run with it. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's have a, a quick look around. I'll uh, I'll let the credits roll and I'll see you in a second. Have a sheep farm, yeah. Uh, it's you know I'm using it, but maybe not quite as much as I should be. We've got an awful lot of wool and gubbins anyway, so uh, yeah, these guys are just sort of in there for the moment. Oh, and the place is lagtastic, by the way, and you'll see why in a minute. Uh, so yeah, we've got all this gubbins going on. Um, yeah, I think, I think you saw this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But we'll take a tour and, yeah, you can see what we've been up to. Oh, yes, over there. Don't worry, you've not missed anything. Um, carrots. We'll take you over here. I've dug out a bit. I think, I think you've seen this. You've definitely seen the, uh, the mine shaft. But yeah. Uh, put a portal in, haven't been very far, literally just went looking for some quartz for uh, redstone bits and pieces. And um, yeah, I know, ha 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 ha, redstone, fractal, you don't know how to use redstone, what are you doing? Yeah, um, I needed to get some quartz, just because, for reasons. Uh, I want to try and make redstone, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know, it's, it's, uh, it's silly. But I want to try. I want to do these things. Anyway, let's get back to going on. It's like tastic. You'll see why in a minute. Um, yeah. Ooh. See, this is this is redstone, right? This is me trying to do redstone. I don't know how to make the rails work. See, there's redstone here, and there's levers there, and there's this gubbins going on here. And these two keep laughing at me because they think it's hilarious. I can't even I can't make the I can't even make the, the little uh, minecart uh, stop and then hit the button and make it go and then have it stop so that I can hit the button again and have it come back. I, I it's beyond me. I don't know. I don't know. I, is that in the wrong place? Is that in the wrong place? Because look, I turn that off and the minecart goes here, but then when I turn it on, it 
I don't know. It's witchcraft. Uh, <laughs> got some bits and pieces going on. I have done some mining in the uh, in the time that I've not seen you. Uh, I got this from the uh, wandering uh, tradesman, salesman, the uh, the double glazing person upstairs. Look at that, 29 blocks of diamond, eh? That's not bad, not bad going at all. We've got some normal ice. I did go wandering um, past the, the jungle and there's some ice floating around out there. We've got some more diamonds, we've got tons of emeralds, we've got slime balls. Like I said, I've not been, I've not been I've not been sort of resting on my laurels. I have been, I have been doing stuff so that we've got lots of resources to play with uh, when I finally do pull my finger out and get on with it. Uh, yeah, there's there's lots of lots of things going on at the moment. Uh, so we'll come out and it's nearly night time. It's always nearly night time. Hang on a minute. Let me just. Um, uh, why is it keeping better bed night? You thieving? Right. Let's go this way then. And I know I said I was going to do some of the houses, but I got slightly sidetracked. I did. I got slightly sidetracked. Um, I will be doing the houses. We will do the houses. We, we will do the houses together. That's that portal, isn't it? Um, I've made some banners. I think you might have seen the banners already. Got rid of that old sheep farm that was here. Um, it's down here now somewhere. Yeah. So that's good. Let me just... There we go. We'll have a kip, and then we can get back into it. You don't want to be seeing. <coughs> excuse me. You don't want to be seeing what's going on uh, in the dark. We've still got loads of loads of iron golems. I'm going to start culling these, I think, uh, because I don't want to waste the iron. And for some peculiar reason, they, they just keep trying to kill me, and I don't know why. It's very annoying. Um, fish farm. You've seen the fish farm, so that's cool. Um, I have been AFK fishing. And we've got some bits and pieces. I need to mend all this gubbins. But we've got mending on the pickaxe, on the diamond axe, shovel, pickaxe. Um, we've got fortune and some efficiency. Aqua affinity, unbreaking and fire protection, um, feather falling. I need to find some blast protection as well. Um, these are all cursed. And I know I said that last time we were going to do a. Uh, uh, Go through them all and get some XP. And we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. Like I say, it's not. How do you get over there? How do you do it? Is it is it because when they're when they're little, they can just sort of like I don't know, jump over. Go in there. Go on. Is it because when they're little, they can just jump over the fence? Because there's no way for them to get over there. They can't get over here. They can't do it that way. I've been around this place like a dozen times, and they just I can't get over there. How they do it. Anyway, um, oh, I think I might have worked out why they don't like me. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is this is where all the um, the gubbins from the fish farm go, which I think I've already shown you. So yeah, there's a load of stuff in here we need to go through, curse of banishing and all that kind of gubbins, um, and that's where all the rubbish goes, just down there. So we'll do that another day. Like I say, this is just going to be a show and tell. Uh, what have we got in here? We've got another book. This is like the temporary storeroom. I don't know whether I showed you that. But anyway, we've got loads of bits and pieces. AFK fish farms are brilliant, but at the end of the day, when you fall in lava and you can't get out quick enough, you're going to lose all your stuff anyway. So, you know, it doesn't matter how much AFK you do. Um, when you're dead, you're dead. And if you lose all your kit down there, then you've got to start again. And if you've got no levels, then you've got to blah, blah, blah. So that's what I see when I, you know, AFK fish farms. So we've got loads of saddles. I'm going to try and get rid of most of those. Lots of water, because I want to make some splash potions and all that gubbins. Um, some bones, trip wires, squid ink. I love squid ink. Um, we're going to be using the leather to make enchanting tables. Why do you want to bother with an enchanting table when you've got all your enchanted books? Well, you know, because. Reasons. Lots of books. More books. More books. More books. Bows, just in case we die. Fishing rods, just in case we lose them. And more bows. Over here, nothing. Hold on there. String. I'm not going to tell you what's in there. You can see. Lots of fishies. I did it. Just did it again. 
Uh, and I don't think there's anything over there. Now, if you go that way, uh, I think there's some stuff over there, but I don't think it's worth looking at. If we go this way, if we go this way, then, see, this is another reason why I need to start learning how to use redstone and rails, because I just do an awful lot of running around. If we go this way, and then, I can't actually remember where this goes. Oh, I think this goes back to the little base that we made earlier. Maybe. Possibly. Perhaps. I need to signpost stuff. That goes down. Yep, that's the mine. So this goes up to the new bat cave. I think. Yes. You can see some more diabolical redstone. Look, this is me trying to be clever. See, this, this is what goes to the old bat cave. See? I go all the way down there, there's those two herberts that laugh at me because I don't know how to use redstone. And yeah, this, this is me trying to, because that's the thingy rail, isn't it? Yeah. And I thought if I had a, if I had a, a, a loop here, then I'd be able to go up, stop, and then come round. But it's, I don't know, I'm, I'm missing something. I don't know. I had detector rails. I had um, little kick you out rails, I had activator rails, nothing works, so I gave up. Hate it. Horrible stuff, redstone. Ugh, nasty. This is the new sort of improved bat cave it will be. Um, I blew it out with a ton of TNT, uh, which was cool, enjoyed that. Um, so, yeah, I was thinking of words. I was thinking of building another portal here, but I don't know whether or not it's too close to that one. But we'll try. We'll see. Um, I've made some glass. There, glowstone. That's another reason why I went to the nether. Lots of glowstone. I like, I like having that as opposed to all the candles and torches and stuff. So this is what I've been working on. This is village number two. So... This is our new village. So you've got a villager all the way over there, which is the old village, which I need to do some uh, renovations to. And this is the new village. This is our new storeroom. Yeah. Um, it needs to be roughened up a little bit. And I know that there's an awful lot of changeable blocks there, so don't worry about it. I will, I will prettify it up. And also the floor. But yeah, loads of room. Look at that. Woof. We like that. Took me hours to build this. Couldn't get the roof right at all. I know what you're thinking. Surely to goodness you should know what you're doing by now. But I don't know. I just had brain fart, I think probably call it. Couldn't get it. Couldn't get it at all. But it looks good. I like it. I like that. It's nice. So yeah, we've got um I built all of this out. Um I'll do a I'll do an aerial shot on a separate account in a bit so you can see. But uh, yeah, my theory with the bells, and I don't know, people probably already know this, but my theory with the bells was right. Wherever you put a bell, they sort of congregate, little groups of them, um, which helps with the lag. So I've got a bell here. Uh, this is like a little fisherman's friend hut with some beds. Hello, Squire. So yeah, there's that. The uh, blacksmiths and the sort of, I don't know, what would you call it? General store. Still needs to be um, updated. Seriously, I've just had one idea after another and I've run with it. Otherwise, I just won't do it. Um, I'll get sidetracked. We've got more gubbins here. Loads more diamond blocks. Uh, loads more bits and pieces there. Loads of trading. Um, we will be going off to fight the wither skeleton at some point, but we've got to go. I'm reluctant to do too much in the nether. Um, but then I suppose we could. We could do nether stuff. Uh, I'll just have to reset the nether once the update comes out. Anyway, we'll, we'll cross that bridge. Um, some more little houses up here. So, uh, yeah. Basically, these houses are just for the villagers to stay in at the moment. Um, and I've got gubbins all over the place. So it, that's why I built that thing over there. So that I can actually get all my stuff together. There's some more bits and pieces here. I mean, you look white wool, iron nuggets, all sorts of bits. Um, 
all of this, all of this over here, yeah, all of that, that was just um, lake. It was just nothing but a lake there. So I built all that out, and I kept getting eaten by zombies. I couldn't work out why. Like, well, they're half slabs and, you know, non-spawnable areas. What's going on? Uh, it's all lit up. The mushrooms. They were all spawning on top of the mushrooms. I presume. So I've had to light them up. A bit annoying. But we're going to sort of make them look a bit pretty. Um, I used to go and put glowstone in my mushrooms to make it look sort of fairy-like. Not fairy, what am I talking about? Fantasy-like, kind of ethereal. Uh, and lo and behold, all of a sudden Mojang is uh, sticking um, lights in their uh, shroom lights in the mushrooms. So, uh, yeah, that's nice. I suppose if you wait around long enough, somebody's going to come up with the same idea as you. So, all of this, I think, you haven't seen any of this. Um, nice little fountain. I quite like that fountain, it looks nice. Um, I was going to put a bell on there as well, but... Uh, no point. Again, it's all cobblestone. I am going to pretty it up. I put some blue glass plane for that. Words again. Blue glass panes in there so that the uh, the herberts can't get in. Because you know what they're like. If they can kill themselves in some new and interesting way, they will. So this is another sort of bed set. I haven't finished it yet. Um, literally, it, it, as soon as I think of something, I've got to build it. Because otherwise, it's just going to get written down on my pad and uh, then I'll forget about it. Uh, so strike whilst the iron is hot. I've got some chests, I think they're all empty. Fireplace. I will come back and you do all this, don't worry. It's not going to just stay like that. So we've got bedding down here and some odds and sods. And then if you go upstairs, we've got more herberts. Don't know why they can't walk downstairs. Probably just not very clever. And then yeah, some more on the upstairs. Ow. So, yep, we've got all that. The lag is real. Now, some of you might see we've got bumblebees. Hurrah! Now, I went, I went ham looking for bumblebees. I, I, I literally ran around the map like there was no tomorrow looking for these blasted bees couldn't find any and then i had a really really interesting idea i thought well they spawn on trees so if i plant a shed load of trees and i mean a shed load of trees this is this is nothing this is nothing i've got crates crates full of birchwood somewhere yeah look all of these birchwood 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 Oak, blimey, I was growing them like it was no tomorrow, and they started spawning. So I'm thinking to myself, hey, you're a clever bunny, aren't you? So yeah, I'm, I spawned them all the way over here. Uh, I spawned them all the way down there. I started making little beehives and all sorts of gubbins. Yeah, it's great. Look, I've got them over here. I thought, you know what, if I just plant loads of loads of trees and have lots of flowers everywhere and make it look pretty, then they're gonna, they've got to, because, you know, why not? And uh, I, was, I thought to myself, yeah, you're a clever bunny, aren't you? See, so, all of this is new. And then I put the YouTubes on and checked out some bits and pieces and zoom avoid. Good old zoom avoid. Uh, yeah, X has already figured that out. He, um, he uploaded a video a while back with with a, a bumblebee farm. I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the uh, the thingy below uh, to the video. And uh, yeah, yeah, he, uh, uh, he, was, he was saying, yes, and if you do this and this and this, and if you put like a tree, if you put tree here, so if we put a tree there and then put flowers here and here and here and here, and just let them grow then there is a chance that you'll get a beehive or bee nest spawning uh, it won't happen like instantly you'll have to go over and over and over again i'm thinking to myself yeah, first the shroom lights and now the bees and here's me thinking i was i was you know doing well seeing so, you know, that I, I, I need to put a need to put a light in there because otherwise they'll spawn but yeah no sadly not Sadly, yet again, uh, I was I was proven wrong. We need food. We need some nosh because I'm going to die otherwise. 
Um, so yeah, that was a bit annoying. But at the same time, hardly surprising. Hardly surprising. Um, but now, apart from that, it's uh, it's going great, guns. Let me just um. Nice one. Yes. Um, let me just uh, log out of this and uh, and we'll go into the camera bits and have a look and see what we can find. Well, I'll show you around the place uh, from a bird's eye view and uh, you can compare it to the intro. So uh, I'll be back in a second. Hello, I'm up in the sky. Yay, it's great. So yeah, we've got all manner of uh, gubbins going on here. So look, we've got all of this. This is all new. All of all of this is new. I've put um, walls around everything, uh, and that's the back end of the uh, the sort of hotel. So that looks good. Got loads of mushrooms everywhere, and I think that looks nice. I haven't actually seen it from this angle for a while. Look, we've got even more fields. So that looks rather groovy. All of this, all of this area here from, from the back end of that building to here, that's all new. That's all just been put in. And uh, I, um, I built this, this little uh, area over here, built that up. That's all, um, under there is all uh, void. It's just water with torches. So I built all of that up to make it look like a little hill. Um, all of this, this is new. There's, there's my, there's my, my storage. I like that. That's a good build. It's huge, ridiculously huge. We're going to get so much gubbins in there. And I'm not going to make an automatic storage system because redstone reasons. Um, all of this, most of this you've seen. To be fair, see, look, iron golems trying to drown themselves. Clever, aren't they? Clever. Um, we've had a couple of uh, lightning strikes. All of this got burnt down, which I wasn't too happy about. This is where the, uh, the base is, the old, the old base that we made to begin with. So yeah, that was a bit annoying. And then all of this gubbins. But yeah, I need to uh, I need to build out on this. We've got some more jungle trees. Which is nice. We've built out around here. I'm going to move this wall down down and bring it all the way around here but we need to start we need to start spreading out i'm going to build a bridge across to here put another little village over here and then we'll put something over there but i do know that there is a village where is it there's a village over there two villages over here in my wanderings there's two villages in that direction so what I'm thinking of doing is chopping down some of the trees out here and putting a road in. And then the road is going to go straight to the first village, which is roughly in that direction. And then the second village is over in this direction. So they're really close. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to put a road in that goes from here outwards, and then another road that goes from there up to the second, third village. Um, and then yeah, it's all beginning to render in a bit now, isn't it? It's, yeah, just behind that foggy fog over there. And then there's another one behind that fog. So yeah, I was thinking we'd put a road in. And then over there, we'll put some walls in so they don't get their faces chewed off because you know what they're like. And then, once that's done, I'm going to go through all of these villages and find the ones that we like. And I'm going to put mine carts down and I'm going to put them into their respective buildings. So they've got a specific building. So, you know, that would be, let's say, that one there next to the pig pen. That'd be a library. And that little tiny small one there with no roof. That would be that one there. 
that would be another blacksmith and that one there would be a butcher's and that one over there would be I don't know clerics house or something like that farmers they'd have little um little farmers houses uh I'd let the sheep back out into a field and then we can have some shepherds um and they'll all have they'll all be stuck in minecarts so they won't be able to go anywhere the rest of them I'll let them wander free and they'll be able to wander I'll put a couple of bells up here so that they can um wander off if they want to to the little bells we'll make some outposts uh and that way they'll sort of move around more so it'll be you know really like a dynamic village so that'd be nice um and then in the future if i'm feeling clever um what i'll do is underneath every building that's got a uh a doohickey what do you call them not test certificates villager i'm going to put a little cage with a zombie in it and every so often we're going to shoot the zombie up and zombify the villager and then we're going to make the villager better and then uh, their prices will come down or we'll just go in there and get rid of the um, workstation that they've got and put it back down again so that they uh, change their um, change their goods not their profession so uh, that's another thing which, which I was thinking of and in the meantime I will I will practice more with um, with redstone and whatnot so uh but yeah i, I like this little village here I, I don't know what you guys think um and i know i've sort of just run off ahead and, and done it but uh, i figured that i'd do something and bring you back to show you rather than you know do nothing and say hi guys i've not been feeling too bright my head's gone i've got nothing to show you so uh but yeah I think that looks I think this is pretty good um, again I tend to find that when I'm when I'm doing stuff and I'm building it's it's easier and quicker just to build it and then come back later and sort of rough it up and put all the bits and pieces that you want to put in there like uh, mossy cobblestone and all that so uh, yeah we'll do that we'll do that as we go you don't need to see me do that um, and gonna put in some more little buildings around here bridges over to there, over to this island over here, um, and then over to there, uh, and just just sort of like spread out. Really, I think that the uh, I think we're missing a trick really with the new villager dynamic um, that everybody wants to build villager breeders, which is cool. But we've got this whole sort of villagers can move around now it's, it's something that i've always wanted in minecraft was the fact that you know you can build villages you can make them all pretty but you can't populate them you know they don't do anything um but now we've got you know dynamic villagers uh who you know they either wander around in their pajamas or they don't so um yeah if we put little bridges with outposts and stuff like that then yeah we can we can populate the whole the whole area as long as they're far, far enough away from each other we shouldn't have too much lag but uh, my idea is that uh, say if we want to go from here to here we'll build a bridge and along the bridge wow he's gone a long way hasn't he along the bridge we'll put some little outposts some sort of um, areas where you can buy stuff but for the most part the villagers will be able to uh, to move around so they've got a bell over there we might put a bell in the middle and then we'll put another bell over here so that they can spread out we'll make sure that everything is walled off um i haven't seen any raids yet though so that's pretty good i'm liking that but yeah so uh that's that's what i've been doing that's the uh the culmination of my couple of weeks where i've not been not been recording and not been doing anything so yeah like i say i i, I do apologize but my head's just not been in it i haven't been feeling very talkative so uh this is what i've been doing but uh, like i say this is going to be short and sweet you can see what we've done uh i'm going to crack on and do some more bits and pieces um you don't really need to see that what i'm probably going to do is move everything over into the um into the new storage and uh and yeah just make sure that we've got everything uh, sort of labeled lined up so that we know where everything is um there's a crafting table over there i was wondering what that was 
and yeah so uh i think i think that uh that'll do it let me just come out of this this camera thing mode and uh, i'll be with you in a second all right okay guys so yeah you've seen around the place and uh i think it looks rather funky um i will continue with what i'm doing and uh yeah hopefully hopefully um I'll get more bits and pieces done and then we'll be able to meet back up here sometime next week and uh, yeah we'll be able to just continue where we left off and I will I will bring you into more interesting builds um, and uh, and stuff and gubbins but for the meantime thank you very much for uh, for tuning in I will be back next week uh, with uh, hopefully more regular videos so yeah I'll uh, I'll see you then um, take care, and as always, be good to each other. Bye!